Hello and welcome back to eCabinet's Tips and Tricks. Um, today I want to show you a quick tip on how you can um, edit your library uh, quite easily and for the most part painlessly. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the batch area and I'm going to select some cabinets. Um, now you can load all your cabinets in this particular library here if you want um, just by clicking on this button that says select all and this button right here with the green cross that says load all selected uh, but for this demonstration I'm going to deselect all for now I just want to load these four cabinets right here into the batch area and um, I'm going to click on load load all selected so I clicked on these little check boxes right here and it's going to load those four cabinets um, it'll take it a little bit but it will load them all on there at the current size that you have them in the library it's not going to change the sizes or anything like that. Okay, now we have them loaded. What I can do is I'm going to click on this picture here or icon or whatever it is and take it into cabinet editor. And what I'm going what I want to do today is I want to edit or change these dummy stretchers I have here um, I want to take advantage of the new feature eCabinets has uh, that's called Phantom Parts uh, this is just a stretcher that I have in this cabinet for um, different sizing details for parts that are inside the cabinet but what I want to do is I want to change it to a, a Phantom Part because um, if you click on cut list here you'll see what I'm talking about um, it imports that material even though I have it, have it as dummy material do not cut it still shows up at the machine and it also shows up in the cut list um, and I don't want that I want to take advantage of this new feature and change every, all those over to phantom parts so I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on phantom parts and I'm going to find those parts and they're use, using the uh, um, user part name I named those parts um, in this case DSL, DNC, dummy, dummy stretcher left do not cut dummy stretcher top do not cut dummy stretcher right do not cut I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to hold my control key um, if you hold your shift key it works too but if you hold your control key you can select individual like if I wanted to select that I could um, I'm going to set selected to phantom and then click OK now if I look at the bottom of this cabinet and rotated around here you can see that that has changed color it's actually a translucent red color um, if I go into cut list you'll see that <clears throat> those parts are no longer in the cut list um, it's not in the sheet stock and it's nowhere in my cut list and it will not show up at the machine nor will it show in um, custom layout so with that being said I've, I've made my changes that I wanted there I'm going to um, if you if you look over here in, in my library here you see that these are have a white background I'm, I've got this set at a darker background just so I can track what's been changed and what hasn't so I'm going to just click save and it's going to bring up my thing here I'm not going to change anything if I just click save it's going to save it right back to the same location it was so I'm going to click save and yes I want to replace it 
and done. Now I can return to batch and no I don't want to apply the changes because I'm just going to simply delete that cabinet when it gets back to batch. So I can click on that and I can remove checked item. And now I can repeat for the next one. And right click Phantom Parts. I want to click on you. Now here's where you're going to want to use the control key. If you use shift, it's just going to, um, like if I click down here and I have my shift key, it's going to select all those. Well, I don't want that. I want to select individual ones, so I'm going to hit control, hold down my control key, and select the ones that I want. In this case, I'll have three in here. And I'm going to click on set selected and OK. Now I'm going to save it and save and yes. And done. Now as you can see, these two that I've already got done have now got like a gray background. So I know those have been completed. I'm go back to batch. No, I don't want to keep the changes. And you'll just repeat this for all the cabinets that you have in batch until you're done. Take that one. And parts. Control. Set. OK, save, and just keep repeating this until you've done all the cabinets that you had loaded into your batch area. And I have this one last one to do. As you can see, this is, um, it does take some time, but it's much less of a headache than going to your library, selecting the cabinet, making the changes, and what have you. So let's go back to batch. Nope, oh, I don't want to do that. It's much quicker if you say don't save. But anyhow, <coughs> Let's remove that one. And yes. So now if I come over here to my library, you can see the four cabinets that I've changed. They now have the gray background. So later on when I come in here, I know that all these cabinets in here have not been changed. So that's it for this trick. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe. Get the latest videos as I post them. And thank you for watching.